Welcome to Keeping It Real with Angela and Allison, Courtney, <laughs> and Courtney. On today's show, we are talking to Courtney Parrish, Senior Loan Officer with the Homestead Funding Corp branch located here in Catskill, New York. Hi, Courtney. How are you? Good Hi, Courtney. morning. I'm good. How are you? Good. We're excited to chat with you today and have you join our, our YouTube series that we like to give to our sellers and buyers about what's going on in the market today. And something fun that we're going to chat about is... So today we're going to talk about the top four things not to do when you are purchasing a home. So we're going to get right into it. Thank you, Courtney, for joining us. So number one, and I'm going to say the tip, and then Courtney's going to tell you all about why it's a terrible idea. Number one, <laughs> do not make any large and significant purchases. Right, Courtney? That is 100% correct. So while you are in process to purchase your new home, there's something called debt to income ratio. And if you go and you charge on your credit card, that will change your debt to income ratio. And that can make you from eligible to not eligible. So during the mortgage process, do not go shopping. <laughs> and that's especially <laughs> relevant now since the holidays are upon us. Absolutely. Absolutely. Everybody gets homemade gifts this year if you're purchasing <laughs> a home. Yeah. So unless you two. close on the house, then go ahead. It's a free yes. Buy whatever and you we don't want. Care <laughs> Number two, don't make a significant career or industry career change, right, Courtney? Correct. Yeah. Right. So, you know, during the mortgage process, we do a verification of employment um, in the beginning of the application where, you know, we send it's a written verification of employment to your employer that confirms exactly what you're earning, your hourly rate of pay, and the number of hours that you're, you're working per week. So when, when our underwriters underwrite that file, we're underwriting it based off of that income. So if you go and you decide to, you know what, somebody's offering me another job. Now, all of a sudden, you just went from guaranteed, you know, 40 hours a week to now you're only guaranteed 35 hours a week. That's going to change your qualification. Um, I recently actually had somebody that went from a, a W-2 position to a, a 1099 position, and they were like, well, I'm making more money. Well, there are different rules for 1099 employees. They're self-employed. So at the end of the tax year, they're going to take all of their income and then they're, they're able to deduct um, business expenses from that income. And from a mortgage standpoint, you have to have a two-year history of self-employment in order to qualify for a mortgage. So it's, once again, it's a huge no-no. Um, you know, I always say, talk to your loan officer yeah. to, you know, to let them know, say, hey, I, I've gotten this better opportunity. If it's a better opportunity and it's, you know, more, more income per hour or a higher salary and you're guaranteed, you know, then that's a possibility, but you need to talk to the loan originator first yeah. so that so you can Courtney, actually can, go to closing. Can I ask you, can I ask you, so if somebody was to change jobs, right? Could they, and it was a really great job, could they get a letter from their employer that you could then utilize to say if it's, you know, if they're only been there for like a week or two, is there something you, you that can, you, you can, but like I said, that loan officer needs to review that employment or that contract to ensure that those earnings are indeed higher. You know, I also, I've had a client once that went from, you know, a W-2 position to another W-2 position plus commissions. And here's the thing, from a bank standpoint, we have to see commissions for two years because we have to average those earnings. Right. So, you know, unless that employer can guarantee that you're gonna make a specific, specific amount in bonuses, we can't use that commission. So, like I said, you'll always need to bring it to the attention of the loan originator to just make sure that it is a better opportunity while you're going through that process. That's right, good tip. So that brings us to our next tip, which is making sure that you make all of your payments on time. You don't want any derogatories to come up. 100%. So you can have, let's say you have an 800 credit score your entire life and you've never, ever missed a payment, okay? If you pay something a week late, 
It's not, it's not going to hit your credit report. It's not until it's 30 days late that it hits your credit score. So you can go from an 800 credit score your whole entire life and you have one late payment. That is going to drop you easily 100 points. Oh my gosh. So you, it could take you from an approved status to a denied status. So, you know, you should always make payments on time. Always, always, always set. I mean, in, in, in this day and age, it's so easy because you have auto debit, you know, yep. set things up for auto debit. So you're never late. Um, but yeah, 100%. If you are late on anything, car payment, student loan, you know, especially a mortgage, but credit cards you know, once again, it can take you from approved to denied. So make sure you're paying everything on time. So that brings us to our last tip. Speaking of credit cards, don't open any new ones. No, <laughs> no. You know, um, there are times when people during the mortgage application do open up a credit card and it's not that big of a deal. But then guess what happens? We do, and, and back to the employment, the day of closing, we do a verification of employment to ensure that you're still working. Not only that, right. we do a soft credit pull the day of closing to ensure that you haven't opened up anything else. So let's say you did open up a new credit card, but you only put 50 bucks on it. Well, hold on. Your closing's canceled for the time being because now I need proof of, I need your most recent statement for that credit card. I need to see what the balance is. I need to see what the minimum payment is. So you're, it, it could not end your closing, but it's certainly going to extend it. It's not going to happen that day because right. then I have to take that credit card statement. I have to send it to the credit bureaus and we have to add that to your credit report. Oh and there's going to be a two to five day lag time. So don't do it. Don't yeah. buy a car. Don't open up. Don't even, if you're going to get 10% off your next purchase, oh, who cares? <laughs> Wait don't, until next month. <laughs> don't do it. It's only 10%, you know? Yeah. So you want to get into that home. You do nothing during, you know, those 60 days while you're in application. And if there is something that you have to do, please, I stress this, talk to your loan originator first. Yes. Great. Those were awesome tips. And, you know, we see it all the time where we have buyers that are just heartbroken because they did something that they didn't realize was detrimental. So yeah. um, just, just, if you don't know, if there's a question call and yes. it's, you know, better, better safe than, you know, you're not going to be bugging. If you, if, if Courtney yeah. is your loan officer, you can call her anytime and she will respond. I can tell yes. you that from experience. Thank so you. speaking of which, Courtney, tell everybody how they can contact you. So I am available 24-7. I lie. It's not 24-7. <laughs> after 10 p.m. But I, I'm, I'm available seven days a week. Um, my office number is 518-943-3714. I am also available online 24-7. And my website is www.courtneyparish.com. Yeah. Great. And again, thank you, Courtney. This is Courtney with, she's a senior loan officer at Homestead Funding Corp at the Catskill branch. And we are so honored that you were able to join us today on Keeping It Real. Do you have anything else that you would like to tell our audience before we head out? Um, well, first off, thank you, ladies, for allowing me to participate in this. And um, if anybody is looking to purchase, refinance, or build, I'm available. And I'd love to help. Great. Thank you so much. And thank you everybody for joining us today on Keeping It Real with Angela, Allison, and Courtney. <laughs> All right, everybody, you guys have a great day. You can visit us online at AngelaLanuto.com or if you're looking to buy or sell, give us a call at 845-658-0536. Thank you so much, everybody, and have a great day. Bye. Have a great day.